The ability to move and copy objects with ease is one of the reasons CAD replaced board drafting years ago. These tasks are not easy to do on a drawing board, but they're extremely easy to do in AutoCAD. Move and copy work exactly the same way, but with two differences. The copy command leaves the original object alone and it keeps repeating itself. Let's open up a file to take a look at these two commands. Let's open up the Architectural Annotation Scaling and Multi-Leaders Drawing example file. In this file, we have a cross-sectional or a sectional elevation view of a stairway, and we have different views within it. Now, to move an object, you start the move command first, of course, and you type in the word move. That will start the command. Or you can type in just the letter M, or you can come up to the ribbon. Go to the Home tab, go to the Modify panel, and click on the Move command. Once you've started your command, find an object, select it, right click, and now you have to pick a displacement point. A displacement point is just the point where you grab it. So I'm going to click right here, and then I am able to move. This dashed line gives you an idea, it's a visual aid, of where you're going to put your new object at. So when I move my mouse, it moves where I'm going to put my object. Left click again, and that's exactly where it will go. Pretty simple. So just remember the base point is the place where you grab the object from, or it's a displacement point. It could be a point on the object or any other point in the drawing. So if I start the move command again, select the text, return or right click before I snapped onto the insertion point for this text. One thing that you might really want to do is grab the insertion point of this leader arrowhead. So we're going to snap to that point, and then I'm going to type in NEA for near, press return, and just snap it to right there on top of our roof. So that's the move command, essentially. You can also select your object, right click, you can pick a base point or a displacement point from anywhere in the drawing. So I can pick from way over here, and it still moves around. Now also keep in mind that I can move more than one object at a time. Let's say I want to move this section here of this roof. Right click, select everything, return, pick my displacement point, and if I turn on my ortho, this forces my movements to my orthogonal projections, you know, left and right horizontal, up and down vertical. So I can move this now, I can either just pick a point or I can give it an exact distance. Let's say I need to move this up 100 units. I can type in 100, press enter, and now my roof part is 100 units up higher than what it used to be. So you can pick points or you can type in absolute direction, you know, for a distance. Now let's look at the copy command. The copy command works exactly the same way when you select and place your objects. Now to start the copy command, again, just like everything in AutoCAD, it has a multitude amount of ways to start it. You can type in the word copy. You can type in the letters CO for copy. Or you can come up to your ribbon, go to the Home tab, Modify panel, go to the Copy command. Then you select your objects, just like you would in the Move command. Press Return. Pick a point on there and then move it. Now when you execute the copy command, you can see in the top right hand corner of my crosshairs is a little glyph. That's telling you that you're using the copy command. So if you forget what command you're in, that's there. So just like with the move command, I can type in an absolute distance. So I want to move or copy in this case, my roof back down 100 units. And with the copy command, you can see here that I continually copy my object as many times as I would like, and to get out of the command, press enter or escape. So the copy command keeps going. It allows you to copy things multiple times, over and over and over again. The move command only allows you to move that object that you've selected once. 